In this video, we'll be exploring the concept of long tail keywords and how to use them to attract organic traffic to your website. Specifically, we'll be covering expanding your keyword framework, understanding long tail keywords, the difference between long tail derivative keywords and semantic long tail keywords, and how to find long tail keywords using Market Samurai. To begin with, I'd like to introduce you to a concept we call the Keyword Tree, which is a good way to visualise the framework necessary for building a keyword optimised website that attracts organic traffic. Previously, we discussed the process of identifying a theme keyword which becomes the main focus of your website. This theme keyword is equivalent to the trunk of your keyword tree. We also discussed how to identify several category keywords which were related to your theme keyword and also had a reasonable amount of traffic and an acceptable level of competition. These category keywords make up the branches of your keyword tree. Today, I'd like to introduce you to two additional types of keywords. The first type are called long tail derivative keywords and the second type are called semantic long tail keywords. These keywords give your website greater breadth and relevancy and are equivalent to the leaves on your keyword tree. So let's take a look at each of these new keyword types in more detail. In case you're wondering what the term long tail actually means, a long tail keyword is simply a phrase that contains several words. The more words in the phrase, the longer the tail. Long tail derivative keywords are those that actually include the theme keyword phrase. The easiest way to understand this is to look at an example. Let's say that your theme keyword was sleeping bag. A long tail derivative of this keyword might be British Army sleeping bag. Now semantic long tail keywords are phrases that do not contain the theme keyword phrase but are still semantically related. So, with the sleeping bag example, a semantic long tail keyword might be mountain slumber bag. In this example, the initial theme phrase, sleeping bag, is not actually part of the long tail keyword phrase, but Google still sees them as being related. The best thing about long tail keyword phrases is that the competition for these phrases is often lower. So, if you write an article that specifically targets a long tail derivative phrase, you may have a good chance of ranking for that keyword. The flip side of the equation, of course, is that long tail keyword phrases do not usually generate a great deal of traffic, which is why you need to find as many of them as possible. So coming back to the keyword tree, what you really want to create is a website that contains good quality articles that target your theme keyword, your category keywords, and also a wide range of long tail derivative keywords and semantic long tail keywords that are relevant to your business. Over time, as you continue to grow your content base and your link network, you'll develop more authority in your chosen niche and subsequently attract more traffic. So now that you understand what long tail derivative keywords and semantic long tail keywords are, Let's take a look at how to use Market Samurai to find these important keyword phrases. What we need to do is to conduct another round of keyword research for our theme keyword and each of our category keywords. This time, however, we'll be using different search settings and different filters in order to find the long tail keyword phrases that we're looking for. So let's take a look at the sleeping bag example from start to finish. I'll begin by creating a new project and entering sleeping bag as my initial keyword. Now I can click on the keyword research icon to begin my search. The first thing I want to do is to generate a large list of keywords so that I can find as many long tail phrases as possible. To generate my keyword list I'll just come across here and click the generate keywords button. Market Samurai then brings back a large list of related keywords. After a few minutes, my results are available. 
and I can come down here and click the Keyword Analysis button to move to the next step. You'll note that I've selected the No Filters option in the Filter Control and I'm turning off the AdWords CPC value as well as the commerciality values over here as we won't be needing them for this lesson. Now my next step is to filter these keywords to find the long tail derivative and semantic long tail phrases that I'm looking for. The first filter I'll set is a phrase to broad match filter to ensure that I eliminate any potentially misleading results. Once again I'll use a value of 15 and this should limit my results to terms that people are actually searching for. Next, I'm going to add an SEO traffic filter. You may recall that when we were looking for our theme and category keywords, we set this to 50 to make sure that our main keywords had a reasonable amount of daily traffic. This time, however, we're interested in finding a large number of keyword phrases that have a small amount of traffic and low competition. So I'm going to set my SEO T filter to 5. This will allow me to see keyword phrases that generate at least a small amount of traffic each day. And now, having set these filters, I'll come across here and click the Analyze Keywords button to bring back my SEO competition data. Market Samurai goes out and gathers information, which can take a few minutes. Now I'm going to set my SEO competition filter to 30,000 because I'm still looking to identify keywords that have a low level of competition. You'll now see that Market Samurai has isolated keyword phrases that I can use as the basis for additional content and having a quick look down this list, many of these terms appear to be long tail derivatives of my initial keyword, sleeping bag. So just to clarify, the main difference between this search and the search we conducted previously is that we reduced our SEO traffic filter from 50 to 5, which allows us to see the long tail keywords we're looking for. Now you may be wondering which of these long tail keywords you should target first. The answer is the ones with the least amount of competition which are still relevant to your website. A good way to find the best long tail keywords to start with is to click the SEOC column heading which sorts your results from low to high competition. So looking at this example, the term sleeping bags for girls has a fairly modest SEOC value. If I was to create a good quality blog post that specifically targeted this term, I'd stand a pretty good chance of ranking well in Google and may be able to achieve a number one ranking in which case, I'd probably receive a number of extra visitors per day. Now this may not seem like much, but if I continued down this list and created content to target each of these long tail derivative and semantic phrases, you should be able to see that these small amounts of traffic would quickly add up. And because these long tail phrases are all related to my niche, as I gain traffic for these phrases, I'll gradually develop more authority for my theme and category keywords. I hope you can now see the true power of using Market Samurai to find long tail derivative and semantic long tail phrases related to each of your category keywords and your theme keyword. By creating content that targets these keywords, you'll gradually build an effective keyword tree that attracts more and more organic traffic to your website. So just to recap, in this video we looked at the keyword tree, which is a great way to visualise the structure of an effective website. We explored long tail keywords and found that there are two main types. Long tail derivative keywords, which contain our root phrase, and semantic long tail keywords, which do not contain our root phrase. And finally, we saw how to find long tail keywords using Market Samurai by lowering our SEO traffic filter to five.